y'all, man. We got Marvel's Eternal release on Disney Plus update from Marvel Studio, man. So apparently, Eternals when it comes out, going to release on Disney Plus. You know what I'm saying? It's like a big update from Marvel Studio. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm hearing from my boy Comic Book Cash 2. You know what I mean? Don't, you know what I'm saying? Don't say it's me. You know, it's this nigga. You know, born in this nigga. <laughs> Not his plans. <laughs> Not his plans. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, though, man. Hey, let's see what they talking about. Let's see my boy talking about, man. Let's see. Let's, let's see what's going on, man. But it's some big news, though. It's some big news. I ain't gonna lie. But um, let's, see. let's see what he's talking about. Um... Yeah, let's get it. As of right now, Marvel's upcoming Eternals film is still scheduled for this November. Now, whether yeah, I ain't hear no delays, or nothing. It's like Sheen Shy. A lot of people was worried, like, damn, Sheen Shy might be delayed, but they had a red carpet yesterday. Um, wait, yes, yeah, yesterday, and they everybody saw it was at a red carpet. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people, a lot of YouTubers talked about it. I think and streamers, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, is you know your position is. Everybody talked about it. My boy Ethan always talked about it. Um, my boy uh, Cosmic Wonder. Yeah, that was him. And then my boy, um, the other people. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that talked about it. Different different variety. YouTube streamers. Whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? Life. But, um, yeah, a lot of people talked about it. You know what I'm saying? I want to watch some videos, but I don't <laughs> because I'm going to watch a movie, though. I really want to watch a movie, though, man. And um, I might, I don't know, I might, I might watch them, but I don't know, man, I don't know. But yeah, a lot of people said the same thing about Shane Shine, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't deleted though. It was not deleted, but it was delayed. It's still going on. So same with this, it's still going to go on. You know what I mean? If we hear something else, then yeah. But we saw, you know, saying a trailer that supposed to be out, <laughs> but it's on theaters. You know what I mean? Right now, as we speak, <laughs> you feel me, man? I ain't know, I ain't even know about it. But it's on theaters right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't shit, shit, no cap. It hits that release or not, I think will largely depend on the success of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Nah, Shang-Chi, nah, I heard Shang-Chi gonna be that shit. And I've been saying that it's gonna be that shit. And I heard a lot of good reviews, though. Just saying, though. I heard it was crazy. You know what I mean? From Cosmo Wonder. I love it. I ain't wanna do the whole thing because I'm gonna watch the movie, though. But her like his his opinion what about the movie and shit, so yeah, I'm already know it's gonna be good, but yeah. Ring. Now, while speaking about the upcoming release slate, Variety got to ask Marvel Studios Kevin Feige about the status of Eternals releasing on Disney Plus, and this time it's not an outright no, but it's not a confirmation either. Okay. I'm about to say he didn't really say on Disney Plus yet, but so this was first hmm. reported by Variety where Kevin Feige was answering multiple questions in regards to Shang-Chi, Eternals, and the future of the MCU. And the entire release slate and delays were brought up. Kevin Feige was asked about the release of Marvel's Eternals and whether yeah. we could expect to see it on Disney+, Plus, because as we okay. talked about it, Disney+, Plus and the premium releases, seem to be over for now. Jungle Cruise and Black Widow were the last ones and nothing as of now has been announced to be coming to the service. I'm glad, man. I don't know they're over yet, though. I'm, about to say, I'm not going to say I'm glad, even though I'm about to say I'm glad. But Disney Plus, y'all got to be like HBO Max. Y'all buy that, you know, we buy HBO Max monthly. After that, we, we watch whatever you want to watch for free. If, if a movie come out, like, um... For example, Justice League come out, Justice League Part 2 come out. We watch that bitch and sit like this. Why, like, for free. We want to pay no extra additional money, no $30. We already pay for that shit. We just push that play button, play, and watch this bitch on this TV and shit. You know what I mean? Type shit. But no, Disney Plus, they want to do premier asses. I literally paid $30 for Black Widow. Literally, $30. That shit crazy. And it's literally cheap on the theaters for five dollars on a Tuesday, five dollar Tuesday. And then if it's regular days on Saturday, it's probably like ten dollars. But that's just actually, you know, what I'm saying. Woo -woo. But I'm just saying though. I'm just saying though. The fuck going on, man? What the fuck going on? I'm just saying though. No cap. <laughs> but I'm gonna pay it if it's a good movie though. If it's like Eternals, I might pay it. You know, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I mean? But some shit, I just I don't want to pay. 
You know what I mean? Something like no cap. But um, yeah. For the foreseeable future, Kevin Feige replied with, and I quote. I think a theater would be my preference and Chloe Zhao's preference. We will see where we go with it. And <coughs> so this Bless isn't me. a yes, this isn't a no, but it's a we have to wait and see what happens. And I think realistically everybody understands what their position on this is. If Shang-Chi comes out and it's a bomb and Barry makes like $250 million at the box office... Then everything in Hollywood will literally see another significant delay because if Marvel Studios can't, so it's not a yes or a no, but they, it's like a in between type shit. So it ain't confirmed yet, y'all, but it's like in between. Carry that torch forward. What can? Black <coughs> Widow underperformed at Bless box me. office, but it did stellar on Disney Plus. Its opening weekend that makes up a good amount of it, but of course that led to lawsuits <coughs> and things. And Bless Kevin Feige. You so underperformed at box office. That torch forward. What can? Black Widow underperformed at box office, but it did stellar on Disney Plus. It's opening weekend. That make. I heard it, it did crazy on on Disney Plus more than box office. I ain't gonna lie, box office like this. No cap, like this. Look, look at my finger. No cap, but it did good. Not that much at Disney Plus though. Yeah. Makes up a good amount of it, but of course, that led to lawsuits and things. And Kevin yeah, Feige has been yeah. very, very vocal about wanting Eternals to be a theatrical experience, just like every Marvel Studios movie. That makes sense. They're films. They're meant for the big screen. Yeah, what I'm saying. Like, and the director is contractually for obligated Plus, for that as way. well. Now, I would guess that they would probably delay the film first and foremost before they ever considered on a Disney Plus drop. And the reason for that is... Black Widow is a more well-known commodity and a better, well-established character than The Eternals. If that made $60 million opening weekend on Disney+, Plus, Eternals cannot make nowhere near that without being established. Therefore, the IP needs to get in front of more eyes. Therefore, the only viable option is a delay. I don't think anybody's going to dispute what I'm saying right now. The Eternals do not have... The power that the Black Widow name had. I know so you're talking about like the characters. Like we don't know who the fuck the characters is. Pretty much, that's, I know you're talking about though. Like I, like, I do know you're talking about. We have one solution. Like, we know what it is, but not like that. Or or me, I don't know what it is. But yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about my boy. Meaning that if they're delaying it, <coughs> you guys know exactly what I'm about to say. <coughs> the entire soy gets delayed, and that's the unfortunate truth. Mm. You know, yeah, I feel it. Um, get up, man. But hey, let me know what y'all think, man. Is it is it is a turner gonna be released on Disney Plus, man? Yes or no? Let me know in the comment down below. It's not confirmed though. That's why you said breaking news. Not confirmed yet. But uh, Kevin Feige didn't say yes or, or no. You know what I'm saying? He like in the middle. So let me know what y'all gonna be. So let me know it's gonna be on release on Disney Plus. Let me know in the comment down below, man. If y'all want it on Disney Plus, let me know in the comment down below. But um, yeah, though, man. But I hope it's on theaters. You know what I'm saying? Get more eyes. Cause this, I mean, or I mean, unless you want to pay extra money, though. I mean, shit, fuck it. <laughs> you want to pay thirty dollars, man? Shit, fuck it. Um, yeah, though, babe. Hey, leave a like to my channel, y'all, man. Hit the bell if you're new. Let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know, you know what y'all thoughts is in the comment down below. But um, yeah, I'm out, y'all. Alright. Peace.